Welcome to manned space exploration. Your Hasbro space capsule closely resembles a Project Mercury spacecraft. Project Mercury was the first in a series of manned space flights by the United States. Mercury's primary purpose was to launch an American astronaut into orbit around the Earth and then return him safely. This feat was successfully accomplished on February 20th, 1962, when John Glenn Jr. in Mercury's Friendship 7 completed a three-orbit flight. The actual Mercury spacecraft is six feet in diameter and nine feet tall. Sitting in a special form-fitting couch with his back toward the large base of the spacecraft, the astronaut faces a complex instrument panel. Your space capsule has a control panel much like the real one. As you can see, there are many dials, lights, buttons, clocks, and switches. All are important to the success of manned space exploration. As you will hear during space flight, the astronaut is able to communicate with the Launch Site Control Center, now known as Cape Kennedy, Florida, and also with each ground station as he orbits. In order to easily place your astronaut inside the capsule and fasten his seatbelt, your spacecraft has a large sliding window. This sliding window does not exist in the real Mercury space capsule. The actual spacecraft has a small hatch or opening through which the astronaut must crawl. His only view of the outside is seen through a small window or through his periscope. The astronaut enters the spacecraft two hours before blastoff time. This two-hour period is used for checking and rechecking the space capsule's instruments and equipment. Later you will hear part of the countdown. As the countdown ends, the Atlas, with the Mercury payload on top, blasts off. About five minutes after blastoff, the spacecraft separates from the Atlas and small jet rockets turn the spacecraft around blunt nose first. The orbit is about 100 miles high and the capsule speed is approximately 17,500 miles an hour. Friendship 7 made three orbits of the Earth. Each orbit took 90 minutes. Near the end of the third orbit, three small retro rockets facing forward were fired to slow the capsule down for its descent to Earth. If you listen carefully to the actual space communication, you will hear the astronaut confirm firing of the retro rockets. As the spacecraft speeds toward Earth, pressure of the atmosphere generates heat up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the heat shield. At 20,000 feet and 10,000 feet, parachutes are let out to slow down the descent to Earth. Again, listen carefully and hear the astronaut describe the parachute as he views it from the spacecraft. The Mercury space capsule always lands in the ocean, where the United States vessels and helicopters wait for the splashdown. The name Steelhead, heard on this record, refers to a Navy ship heading for the recovery of both capsule and astronaut. With helmet, one-piece suit, boots and gloves, your Hasbro astronaut is dressed in a spacesuit similar to all astronauts. <laughs> 